Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another redemption episode of the Top 5 in 5. This is episode 2, pre-Nationals leaderboard, the top 5 players in the 5 redemption categories leading up to Nationals 2024 in Allendale, Michigan. So for the 5 categories, the 7 regional tournament results have all been tallied. All the locals, all the districts, all the state tournaments, it all comes down to this. We are just over a week away to crowning the champions in all five of these categories. All right, so maybe you're watching this video, you're not quite sure what all these points mean. Feel free to pause the video on this chart. It's gonna show you the points you can get for locals, districts, state, regional, and the national tournament. Nationals is only once a year, so you only have one chance to earn those 45 points for first, 22 points for second, or 11 points for third. The current Redemption Tournament season started in August of 2023 and runs until Nationals in the beginning of August of 2024, August 1st through 3rd. All right, so we are about to dive into the top five in five. But first, a word from our sponsor. YourTurnGames.biz has contender decks, single cards, battle boxes, card sleeves, play mats, and so much more. Be sure to check out YourTurnGames.biz. All right, so first up, we're going to talk about type one teams. So John Neolishan from Massachusetts holds the top spot at 84 points moving up from 74 points at the previous publication. Emmanuel E-Man from Connecticut holds the second spot, moving up from 72 points to 82 points. And then we have a new man on our top five, Dave Isabel from Iowa in third place with 70 points. Then we have Stephen Brooks from Arkansas moving down to fourth place with 60 points, tied with Sean Seavers from Tennessee and Brandon Wade from Tennessee. Looks like they got that East Central Regional win. And we also have Jeremy and John Hendricks all tied for fourth. So we got a big top five leaderboard with lots of players clinching those regional wins, getting them to 60 points. All right, and then that means Mark Belake had dropped down to the ninth spot on our leaderboard. He was previously in fourth place. So let's see if Mark can get a back-to-back Nationals win in teams to move back up to maybe the top spot. Or will we see some other players rise? Perhaps some brothers from Maryland? Rob Smith and Dave Smith, I'm rooting for you guys. All right, so next up we will cover type 2-2 player. Still holding the top spot is my man from the Northeast, Eman Emmanuel, with 86 points. Uh, The Guardian, Justin Alstead, has moved up to second place with 82 points. We have Jeremy Chambers from Alabama holding on to the third position, moving from second to third with 65 points and then moving down from third to fourth we have Jaden Alstad with 61 points and taking the fifth spot once again is Grayson Cox moving just ahead of Joe by completing a first place at a district getting Grayson to 53 points that's our top five for type two Uh, some notable players lower on the list there that you could see making name for themselves, perhaps Tyler Stevens or some other players could rise to the top. Let's see what happens. All right, moving on to our next category, we got booster draft rankings. So booster Brian Jones has moved up to the top spot for booster draft with the maximum points leading into nationals of 90 points, pushing Mark Valake down to second with 80 points and then Grayson Cox has moved up to third or maintained third I should say with 53 points instead of the 50.5 that they had previously and then in fourth place we still have John Mealishan with 47 points but now he is tied with Jaden with also 47 points and in fifth place we have Charles Loria of Connecticut 
with 42 points, tied with Mitch Stewart of Iowa, also with 42 points. Next up is my favorite category, closed deck, also known as a sealed deck. The top two spots have not changed since our last episode. Brian Jones from Kentucky still holding on to first place with the maximum of 90 points. And Joe Roberts from Connecticut holding on to second place with 80 points. We have a new third place with Justin Alstead from Minnesota coming in at 50 points, pushing Grayson Cox of Idaho down to fourth place with 47 and Chris Fashman of Tennessee to fifth place with 46 points. That's your top five in sealed deck. All right, so on to the premier event, type one, two player. All right, so this chart right here is going to make for an exciting nationals, my friends. Type one, two player is the premier event. Top cut is returning this year, which is gonna make it all the more interesting. Right now we have three players tied for third place with maximum points, 90 points for Brian Jones, Kentucky. Jay Chambers, Michigan, and Chad France of Oregon. 90 points. Any one of these guys could have a perfect season. Will that happen? Just below them is Joe Roberts, Connecticut, moving to fourth place from 80 points to 84 points. Then we have Micah Rex from Massachusetts at 69 points. I want to also have some honorable mentions here. You've got Jeremy Chambers from Alabama at 66 points. He also does a great job in type one, two player. You have Justin Alstead, the guardian in 56 points. You got Tim Estes from California, the man of the jungle himself, Babuni Tim, who has just come back to redemption after hiatus of many, many years. And he has taken to the game like glue. He has like such a great knowledge of the game this is actually a shout out for his channel. Go watch it, Babuni Tim. Great content. Any one of these guys has a shot at winning and so many more people. 45 points is going to go to the top player. That could shake the game up immensely. I mean, look at Zach. He has 68 points, currently down the leaderboard a little bit, but he won, I believe, North Central Regionals. Lots of great contenders, and I don't even see, like, redemption with Jaden. Like, dude, where you at, man? But he could be bouncing back. 45 points could catapult him near the top. You just never know. See the full list at cactusgamedesigns.com because that's where you can see the current rankings and see where you're ranked. Maybe you have enough points. If you add 45 points, maybe that's going to catapult you to the top. Get down to Michigan, join in the fun. We are just over a week away. It is gonna be here before you know it. I'm excited for Nationals, I hope you are too. We will be live streaming Nationals from Rob M Studios. So be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell guys, hit that bell, get the notifications so that when we go live for Nationals, if you're not gonna be there, and I hope to see you there, that you are able to watch the games live. All right, thank you for watching. This has been episode two of Redemption Top 5 in 5. I hope you guys enjoy because we will be doing episode three post-nationals with the final rankings for the 2023 to 2024 season. I hope to see you guys there. If not, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye now.